people are confused when it comes to vitamins and supplements. Um, for most people, a multivitamin is safe and okay, um, but it is important that with, um, with certain medications and with certain conditions, um, some vitamins aren't healthy at all. Um, so it's always a good idea before starting any kind of supplement to check with your, you know, your clinician and, and be sure that it's okay. But um, so for most people, really it boils down to healthy eating. Um, if you can get your vitamins and your minerals from whole foods, that's always best. Um, a multivitamin is kind of like insurance, you know, okay, so you may have a day or two that you don't eat healthy, um, there's no harm in taking a multivitamin. Um, and fortunately, there are a lot of really high dose um, you know, supplements and, and vitamins out there that can cause problems. So, you know, like I said, it's always good to, to check and, um, and do your research and, you know, ask a healthcare provider, you know, what they think. Um, it's also really important to let your pharmacist and your healthcare provider know what supplements you're taking because oftentimes they will interact with um, medications. Some things will um, not combine well. Um, for instance, if you take iron along with calcium, you won't absorb the iron well. So, um, but if you take it with vitamin C, it enhances absorption. So, um, the, so you want to take iron with vitamin C, but not with calcium. And um, you know, a lot of people just aren't aware of those things. In the United States, most of our food is fortified, and you know, true vitamin deficiency is um, very rare except for vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency is um, quite common, I think, um, partly because we are not outside as much and we, um, we put on sunscreen, which is a good thing, and we protect our skin from the sun. There's not a lot of symptoms for vitamin D deficiency. Um, you know, I think that um, that's just, it, it's usually uh, caught on a screening test and um, it can lead to um, thinning of the bones and you know, just decrease in overall bone health. And I think that's one of the most, um, most important consequences of vitamin D deficiency and why it should be corrected.